Oh yes, Mzanzi, welcome back. Your feel-good breakfast show is here, opening up on S3 to so much good food, good conversation, and maybe a little bit of entertainment, but in a classic kind. We're talking with Eric Dippena. He is a, and I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, a spinatist or a spintist. We're gonna find out for sure. I hope I'm not embarrassing myself, but he's an artistic director at the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra. Now he's here this morning to chat us to us more about the Cape Town Baroque Music Festival, and it's taking place this coming long weekend. So let's get Give him a feel good welcome, yes! <laughs> Eric, did I put you? Yes, I did. I. <laughs> what, what? Well, of sorts. I, I, well, play, um, I play all kinds of keyboard instruments, but very early ones. So from the time pre the pre piano was piano invented. Well, exactly. I thought that was like the first thing in the game. So it's it's the, the older, very older uh, grand, grand All person right. of, of and, the And piano. how do I say uh, the thing that you are exactly? Is, so I, I play, I normally is? call myself a harpsichordist because oh. the instrument I'm, I'll play today is the harpsichord. I thought it had is, some harp feels to it. Exactly, it. Okay. yeah. It plucks the strings like, like you would with a harp, uh, um, apart from on this instrument it happens mechanically with a keyboard. Oh. So Oh, that yeah. is so cool. Yeah. Okay, but again, I need to just save myself here. How do I pronounce that word spinatus, spinatus? What a is it? Spinatus. So spinet is a, a form of harpsichord, normally a smaller oh, one. Okay. Um, so in a way, the harpsichord that we've got here today is like the grand piano of pre-piano wow. times. And the spinet is like the upright piano that you'd have in the house, for instance. And it's incredible because I was trying to educate myself on what Baroque is really all about, yeah, and it yeah. seems like it predates that classical era it of is. music. It is. So well. it kind of it's uh, uh, kind of Western classical music, but before the music that really became popular that you would hear in symphony concerts. Wow. And with the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra that presents this Cape Town Baroque Festival uh -huh. uh, this weekend, so we always play on either original instruments or instruments, copies of instruments from the period. Gosh, that's so, awesome. So we tend to keep it original. And giving the, I think, whoever's going to be attending this festival a yeah. proper experience of what it must yeah. have sounded like back then, you're transporting them into like another world. I think so. So I think that's part of the experience we also work in very specific venues so we kind of pair a type of music with a venue um, but also remembering that we are in modern times yeah. and that we we play to modern audiences we try to contextualize it and, and and in a way present it that makes it understandable and comprehensible to our modern audience nicely done so it's happening this weekend it's the long weekend so we've got a brilliant reason to get entertained and I believe this year's festival is revelations Talk to me about yes, that. so yeah. we we the whole festival centers around the idea of things being hidden in the music and things being revealed through the music. And I think in a lot of Baroque music, there are sometimes other melodies or hymns encoded within a type of music. So our wow. first program works exactly with that idea of revealing these uh, kind of other melodies encoded within more more complex structures. Yeah. Incredible stuff. So I got to ask, where do we get tickets? How do we get involved so in this it's, festival? Uh, uh, you can just Google the Cape Town Baroque Festival yep. and the tickets are through Quicket, um, but the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra website also has a page for the festival where there's a lot of details about the program and about where to get tickets. And so. so what really fancies me and, 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 and tickles my fancy more than anything else and interests me is the instruments you're speaking yeah, about because yeah. I've never seen these things before. When we were talking yeah, about the, yeah, the what do you call that? Harpsichord. Harpsichord, harpsichord yes. yeah. So we have some images of it right now and you guys yeah, can see yeah. that on the screen, but you mentioned that uh, this is something that we'll actually be showcasing, right? live to you Mzanzi and if you're wondering what it is no it's not a piano although it looks like it and it has very subtle and similar nuances this thing plucks the strings is it that does. correct? It does it does yes wow. and uh, it's all wooden it's not like a, a, a piano that has a steel structure so it's it looks big but it's quite light. So it resonates differently when it comes very to much yeah. it's all about a light structure that resonates and also um, Ralitza my colleague who's going to play later her she has a copy of a Baroque violin and the strings on that instrument is uh, made out of real sheep's gut. So sheep's it's, gut. Yeah, it's wow. not metal like you'd find on a modern symphonic instrument. So we really try to go back to That's kind authentic, of yeah? original <laughs> materials. Does that too. give a different sort of a sound to it? It does. It's okay. more textured and it's a bit softer and, and indeed more resonant. So I, 
Yeah. I'm I'm blown away, by, and, and I know we don't do this quite often, but we don't get a beautiful piece of equipment or instrument like this. Can we go over there and actually just like yeah, check we, it out right now? We I can, know this absolutely, is yeah. A, a <laughs> crazy stuff. We're going to just take a little walk through there. You can go so long while I just um, uh, get ready here, but I think this is absolutely incredible to know that we have this opportunity right now. I'm going to walk my way over to this and uh, kind of just chat to you about what is going on here. So excuse me, cameraman, for just causing chaos in your studio right now, but how often do you get an opportunity like this? And so it looks stunning. I see some handcrafted detail in here. What it's, is going on? It's all handmade, so you, you can't go to a shop and buy one of these. You have to get a craftsperson to make it for you specifically. And this was ma one was made in the, uh, it's a copy. It was made in the um, 1970s. And um, so the only thing that's uh, metal about it is these strings are brass, and, and, a soft and historical brass. I wanted to ask you about that because I don't know if the camera can get close enough to actually see this now, but it looks like a spider's web in terms of the thinness of these strands. <laughs> yes, it's like exactly. silkworms came together and <laughs> collaborated with some kind of crazy human yeah. being and made this thing. What, what is that made of exactly? So that is a soft type of historical brass. Whoa. And I think that's uh, also a difference. A modern piano has got uh, 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 steel strings and so on, but this is a very specific type of stringing that would go onto an instrument like that. Um, and as you can see, it's got a keyboard like a piano, but yeah. very often the white and black keys are uh, reversed and it's wooden. All, all wooden too. It's all wooden too. And it's got uh, always these uh, nice kind of um, yeah, detail, uh, details, details like, like uh, hand carving. Yeah, yeah. And in this in in this case, it's. Uh, fish and it suits me well because I'm a Pisces. <laughs> oh wow! So, so this yeah, thing was almost yeah. made for you theoretically. <laughs> I got to ask though, with regards to that 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 plucking yeah. mechanism, yeah. can you kind of show me? Oh, I can. Uh, what, if we, and, and I wonder if we can between... get a close up here. Oh now. yes, look yeah, at you this. Can. I don't and know if the cameraman uh, can see that, okay? Those black uh, bits that actually plucks the strings, those are uh, made from oh, bird's quill, the quill of a, a feather. Yeah. You're joking. So, <laughs> yeah, that's still <gasps> after hundreds of years, some of the natural material still works best. I don't know. My mind is blown away because what I've just realized is that somehow you've harmonized music collectively with nature in order to yeah. bring this yeah. phonetic experience to the world. I think so. What are you doing? This I is incredible. I think it is, um, it is one of the most wonderful things yeah. of live music on acoustic instruments because the music actually resonates with your body in a way. It's made and you can feel, you can hear the sound vibrations, but you oh. can also feel it in this space. And I think that's, that's hopefully why live music will never disappear. That is so. absolutely <laughs> special. Well, Amzanza, we have every reason to stick around because we're gonna get a first-hand experience at this beautiful piece of art. You get to hear it firsthand and you've got every reason to get your tickets for this long weekend. It's starting this weekend. Head over and get those tickets. It's only a hundred bucks and wow, an experience to try transport you to another world awaits. Nicely done, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome stuff. <laughs>